am trying a new game recently, and it's this new Weiss Schwartz game. I uh, played with my wife um, a while back. We picked up some, I think it was called Fate Grand Order. Not super familiar with the anime itself. Um, we are a little more familiar with this one. Um, this one is actually pretty popular, I think. Um, and I think this is the first time this particular anime for Weiss Schwartz or Weib Schwartz um, came to the US, yeah, first edition. Um, so I was gonna open up a couple of these booster packs and see um, what we got. I only got two boxes because I'm not full blown into it yet. Um, I'm kind of familiar with the way that they do stuff. Like you can see here, like they have these little parallel sets, which is kind of more of like the trading card our trading card world, like the sports world or the marble card world, where they got the different like parallel sets. And there's only a couple different parallels of each of these, like the triple rares and the um, and they're just a different foiling process, I imagine. And then the regular set comes to like uh, a bunch of different common cards and Climax rares are four and Climax regulars are eight. So not a lot of cards in the set. Total of 100 types, 35 different parallels, and there's nine cards per pack. So um, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to open it. Uh, I have a couple trial decks that I'm getting um, from a friend of ours that we will probably um, put together. The playmat is not related. It's a flesh and blood playmat. That's um, what I just have sitting out here because last night we were playing some Flesh and Blood. So um, we are going to crack these open, see how they go. We'll s hopefully I can get both of them open in a timely fashion. Um, otherwise, I will be breaking this video up a little bit. Uh, like I said, I've never opened this up. We got um, this character, it's Lily. It's the supporter character for um, Belle Crenell in this series. So we got ourselves a level zero Lily. Doesn't look like it's foil. Maybe it's just no. Doesn't look foil. It just looks like a, um, just looks like a standard card. I know that's a promo card, and I think it only. I don't know. Maybe it comes in. Um, it comes in a uh, foil or common version uh, inside the deck. But um, okay, this does have pull tabs. I hate pull tabs, so I'm trying to see if we can open them without pull tabs. But if we can open these packs without pull tabs, that would be great. All right. So this here is. Tion. I think there's a Tion. There's a Tion A. Um, they're like fist fighters, I think. They're fighters in a uh, different familia. This is Seer. She's a, she works at the um, like tavern that everybody goes to. This is Belle Cornell. We got Yusa. I'm not familiar. I, I know, I, I know who she is. I'm just, she's not striking me. Um, and it looks like we got ourselves what looks like I think this is what I think this is a double rare or I don't know I can't tell I'm not familiar enough with the rares this is definitely a rare a special rare card um, and this is sear in the um, speckled foil format so that's I would say that's a hit of some sort um, next is Hestia and full face Hestia which is a level two we got ourselves Finn regular rare is uh, Lily again big old level three lily and a regular foil um i'm gonna have to see okay so this is a rare yep it is a double rare looking at this this is your um all your set information here don amachi set number the card number and like double rare rr um you know and this is a single rare and that has kind of the same foiling on it um i'll have to see a different background maybe in the background is a different in the parallel and then our climax card is uh, Hestia in a bathtub so um oh god I don't like that we're gonna try to open them from the back because I'd rather open them from the back all right we got ourselves another lily here we got ourselves wealth he's the he's the uh, blacksmith he's pretty good he's pretty famous he can make magic weapons pretty Pretty much, pretty much love that guy. Another bell card, level two. Eyes uh, is sitting at our common. No foil here, it looks like, so we're gonna be good, just a regular rare pack, which is fine. We got ourselves um, uh, as if, as if, as if, Seer, the Wakamaru. It's a special Minotaur horn weapon that was crafted by Wealth. And we got ourselves a rare Hestia. Lowly goddess. She, um, she, she is, she is a lolly. Yeah, that's un, 
too bad that they have to use the word lolly. It gives a real bad connotation. But the show is a little bit perverse, but not it's not terrible. Um, it's actually pretty good though. It's a it's a pretty I think if you're a fan of like a Sword Art Online, this could be kind of similar in vein. No, maybe not. This is more of an adventure. I don't know. I, I like it. It's good. We've seen a bunch of these cards already. We got oh, so uh, Suka. I think this guy actually um, works for uh, Freya. Another bell. Um, Chigsuga Seer. Another weapon. And we got ourselves a regular rare here in Seer, the Unusual Interest. Very cool. So and our Climax card is I Shall Make You Win. This is just a standard Climax card. So, um, I'll try to be a little bit faster after I see a bunch of the cards because like, all these cards are new to me. So there's ourselves a Drunken Goddess Hestia, uh, Waitress and Hostess Seer, uh, Ryu, or Ryu. She's, she's an elf, works at the same tavern as Seer, but she's way cooler. Um, there's Tiona. She's the other barbarian woman from the, um, oh, the familiar, sh Loki familia. Yeah. Another wealth. Uh, Anna works for the guild. And then uh, Bet, Bet, he is also with uh, Loki familia. I think the Loki familia must be, I'm wondering if the familiars are going to be specifically to, um, no, maybe not. Because, like, the yellows, yellows are appearing to be Loki familiar, but I, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait. Because it seems that Wealth is always red, but I don't think Hestia is red. And I know, oh, you know what? Wealth in Season 1 I don't think was actually Hestia is familiar. I think he was actually with somebody else. So that's interesting. Eyes is the um, the Climax card. Um, You know, I like the set. It looks cool. I don't no, I think the artwork on this particular set is feeling a little fuzzy. Like, everything looks really kind of fuzzy. I'm not terribly happy with how fuzzy the, the anime is here. Like, this one feels pretty good, but there's just, like, slight haze over it. We got ourselves Lily again. Mia. Loki herself. Belle. Uh, <laughs> Takamazuchi. He's another familiar god, I believe. He's actually the god of like healing. I think he's pretty cool. Then we got Ray, Ray, Ryu. Is how they say it? Not Ryu, like in Street Fighter. There's more Ryu. She, I don't think, belongs to a familiar. I don't think so. And then we had a Bell, uh, regular, common um, climax card. So, all right. Another Otaro, another Lily, another Mia, another Loki. Oh, we got ourselves our Nux, our double rare again when we got ourselves Ryu, the level one Ryu card. Very cool. Uh, meeting up for date night, Hestia. She's a god. Familia. Oh, we got ourselves box art, regular rare here with uh, Bell and Hestia. Cool. And we got ourselves a climax card of Bell and Hestia. Them. Very cool. Um, there is some pretty cool stuff. I think there are some uh, voice actor signed cards in this set. I don't know if I'll get one. I think those are case hits, and I didn't buy enough to get have a whole case, so it might be a little hard to find that. But Hermes, he's a god. Uh, there's another bit. Freya, she's the god. I'm, I like Freya. She's she's conniving. Ina, Bell, Tazama, Miak, he's a god too. That's the healing god, I think. This guy is a different god. What god is... Oh, I think I think this actually is the one with the swordsman girl. She's uh, very good with swords. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And Ina, the guild uh, representative. And then, of course, another Hestia in the bathtub. Funny, if you've never played this game, um, but you have play people who play the game at your local card shop, go there and play it. It's really fun. It's very easy to pick up. The combat is very um, simple, but can get pretty deep. It's definitely worth playing around with some people. And the trial techs are actually fun enough to just play with. If you just want to 
try out the game. It's worth it to just pick up one of the fifteen or twenty dollar trial decks. And believe it or not, the trial decks even do have the potential to have some pretty pretty cool cards in them. Like I, I think they even have like potential for like the seeded triple rares and stuff. So it's pretty awesome. Got some eyes for you again. Ooh, Gareth, we haven't seen him. Uh, new wealth. We got Gensha, another god. He's a he's a god of like party and um, uh, he obviously represented as like an elephant. He's pretty cool. I like him. Nina's present. She gives uh, um, she gives uh, Bell a I think like a shoulder piece or a piece of armor of some sort. She really likes him. All right, we got a rare Tiona foil holographic or whatever you want a hollow foil thing. Very cool. And our Climax Rare is going to be a Luminous Winds. I don't... We haven't gotten a Climax Foil. I don't know if they're doing Climax Foils. I hope they do. Um, I know that... I know that they have in the Grand Order set. I, at least I think they did. I don't remember. I'll have to look at our cards. Bat... Bell... Mina... Alright, we're gonna probably get... Be, oh, there's a... Well, it's not Foil... So that is a randomly inserted Climax card. We got ourselves a Uncommon Eye, a Magic Sword, which... I'm not going to lie. Whoever decided to do this art, that is a pretty sad piece of art for us Magic Sword. And then we got Lily and Hestia as um, our rare, really cool looking card. Um, another Climax rare. And this is the Heroic Shot. This is... I think he is taking out one of the, um, well, it doesn't look like a Minotaur, but he's taking out somebody. It's all red. It looks like he's in the dungeon. I don't remember where he learned heroic, the heroic shot, the, using his, well, I have to go back and watch the first season, apparently. All right, we got ourselves Hermes, Bay, Frey again, Ina. All right, we got ourselves a tr SR. This is... SR, it's got a bit of a texture to it. Um, SRs are not, they're not a triple rare, but SR is pretty good. Ina is not, I'm not super, super excited about Ina. If I had to pick a card I wanted, uh, Ina wouldn't be the one I would immediately go to, but not bad. Getting SR anyways is still pretty cool. Um, just, I don't think it's a highly sought after SR. And then we got ourselves a level three Bell Cornell, regular rare, and that is good. Um, and just a regular clown and climax I All right, all right, so let's speed this up a little bit. I'm gonna try to speed, you know what, I'm gonna start using the tear method. I just have to be careful not to tear it. All right, got some eyes. Ooh, we got ourselves um, part-time Hestia working. Gareth, Wealth. Ooh, we got another double rare with uh, Lily exploring the dungeon. Hestia, the Grim War. it's the book, a little dark. And then a foil, regular rare Hermes. And a climax, unyielding feelings. All right, I'm gonna maybe stop reading them. I think you guys can probably guess who they are. Uh, I like reading them because I'm a crazy person. Another Hestia, Hestia. All right, let's see. Oh, we got ourselves a nice double rare eyes. That's cool. She is a good level one character, I think. We'll have to see. I'm gonna be playing with this set here in a couple weeks. Hey, this I think is our first Hephaestus. That's pretty good. And then a uh, rare right. Uh, very good. Oh, my set, my card f fell over. My stack, cards are slick. I'm with these. Is this a, no, this is a rare. These are all my foils, apparently. I'm, uh, not really sorting them by any type of, um, uh, any type of, uh, extreme, uh, extreme rarity of any sort, so. All right, we got ourselves Lily, Pal, Eyes. Uncommons, and our rare is Hestia, goddess of judgment. She's got this little circle around her. That's actually pretty. I think um, the actual goddess of Hestia was known to actually have a ribbon around her uh, her arms and bust, and it signified her like purity. Like she, the goddess of Hestia is, I think, virginal, and like that ribbon kind of signified that virginality. And they, the show incorporated it into her costume, obviously. And I think it, they've used it quite a bit to exem, um, exemplify her bosom. All right, so this looks cool. This is a Hestia knife. This actually looks like um, this actually looks like a magic weapon, and it has the uh, counterpunch on it. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, and we got ourselves a Tione Rare. And another Climax Rare. All right, two packs left. We got an SR. I think there's pretty much what, um, like, per box, it's like one SR, one triple rare per box, I think, is the rate. So we, oh, well, well, no, we got another double rare. So we got quite a few double rares, and this is a Hestia double rare. This is a good double rare we wanted. Uh, Pionechi. Um, this is, I think, the um, armor that Welf tries to sell. It's not magical, and a lot of people are like, man, non magical armor. Little rookie rare. This is pretty cool. And last pack of this box. And I think, what are we going on? We're going on 18 minutes. I think I think I will just. I think I'll break this into two 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 videos just to make it easy on everybody. The next one will probably be a much shorter video, so I think that's what we'll do. All right, transforming magic Lily, Hermes, Loki, Freya, Freya. Firebolt, magic weapon, that's pretty cool. Um, Hestia and Receptionist Day Off, uh, Ina, which is pretty good. And another another Climax card, I don't think we had this one. Looks like a naked um, monster in there. Mityama, Mityama. Anyhow, that is the first box of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon? Familia Myth. It's a great series. Um, if you are looking for an anime series that's fun to watch, really easy. This is a good one to pick up. Uh, next video, just a little bit. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace.